Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. <laughs> Cycling around Da Nang once again. I think I got a death wish, man. And I'm lost, man. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. I think I gotta go that way. This is pretty nuts, man. Right, go, 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 go. Right, I'm back on route. That was that dick. <laughs> this should be the way. I might have to put the camera down, I'm going over the bridge. Woo! Damn, that makes you feel alive. Woo. Right, what way I gotta go, man? Right, going this way. This is the sort of area I stayed last time. Ah, oh, man, yes, yeah, a bit more chilled at the minute on this road. So we're going to see the Da Nang uh, Military 5 Museum, I think it's called. I thought we'd go and do that today. Uh, I went there in 2019 and it was really good. So I'm going to go there and do a vlog. We're on the mountain bike lit in Vietnam. Do I recommend it? No. I think the bikes are cool in Thailand gave me a bit more confidence but nothing can give you the confidence for riding here it's a totally different experience it's humid as hell but it's overcast which is good I set out early it's about 9.30 in the morning ah man Whew. it's the beeping mate the beeping yeah, it puts the wind right up yeah. Whenever you hear a beep, you think <laughs> it's curtains. Half the time, the beep, they're not even nowhere near you, but yeah, it, it shits you right up. When well, a big lorry's coming behind you and he's beeping. The museum's not too far up from here. One good thing about Da Nang, it's not too many hills in and around the city. So that's a good thing. Right, let's go, let's get this one. But man, you gotta have, you gotta have eyes everywhere. Hey, I'm back again. Who would have thought it? Last time I was in there, vlogging was just not even in my mind one bit. Hey, it's closed, isn't it? No. Yourself in. Made it. Made it to the War Museum. Happy's a pig, man. Happy's a pig. Oh, I remember it. Still the same. Still the same as it was. If I remember, you gotta get a ticket. Hello, sir. Right, so I just bought a ticket. The ticket is. 60,000 dong. Um, I remember it was about the same last time. I'm not grumbling because it is a great place. And yeah, I, I remember it like it was yesterday. So yeah, gonna park the bike up here. I've got loads of pictures of this. I think I've got it on my Instagram. In fact, I still got the same t-shirt back in Thailand that I wore here <laughs> that time. And yeah, I was just, you know, I was on a visa run then and vlogging was nothing i'd just been in thailand for three months and i came here to do my multi-entry 
I'm so interested in the Vietnam War, I really am. All the movies and I'm just, you know, I'm privileged to be here. I woke up again this morning just thinking I'm in Vietnam, it's crazy. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would be in Vietnam. Because this, this country's name is always going to be associated with, with what happened here, right? M48 tank, it was used by the 1st Puppet Army Brigade. It was chased by the Liberation Troops on the way to fleeing on 24th of the 3rd, 1975, from the Hue. After that, it was seized by the 38th Regiment 2 Division of the 5th Military Region at the Mai Kai, Mai Ki Village, Da Nang City. Wow, man. Incredible. Amazing, man. So I remember most of all this is all the same. High explosive bomb. It's effective casualty radius at 100 miles, is that? This bomb was used in Vietnam. Aggressive was by America Empire. It's sobering. It's really sobering being here. used to drop to Antoine village in Lao district by American troops 1970s yeah it was just I don't know I'm speechless man I'm speechless another tank yeah speechless this Being in Da Nang as well, this the city is such a such a landmark. I'm just looking at people down on the beach, old people thinking, what what did they go through? How what do they think of us? What do they think of me? Looking at me, you know, and used by the regiment 275 air defense military zones air field in the war against the USA, 1975. Look at that, man. So is this a famous Huey? Is this a Huey? No, it's not, is it? It's a UH-1B helicopter seized from the enemy, 1975. It was used at the West-South Battlefield, 1975-1981. Guns on it. Oh man. Yeah, just I had to come here, guys. It's probably not a vlog for everyone, but for me, this will be right up there with. Oh, this will be number one vlog for me. This will be for my memories. This will be the top one. It's an honour, it's an honour to be here, it's an honour to look at it. Train carriage owned by the 5th Military Zone and Transport Soldiers Supplier and people in the resistance against the French, 1946-1954. So that's a real OD there, real OD. So it's not just the Vietnam War, I don't think. I mean, I'm sure a few of you are Vietnam vets that watch the channel. Americans I'm sure as I said before it's not it's not a very old old war still is it 60s 70s so I'm sure a couple of you did did say before um, yeah I would love to I could speak all day with someone about it I really could yeah it's really good it goes around the corner as well look at that man look at that C 
seized from the enemy, the Nang City. I'm, I, I'm intrigued. And these little kids here today, do they get do they get taught about what all this is in their city? These these museums or or is it not talked about? Motorboat controlled by the two comrade. A vehicle of regiment 270. It was used to serve on the fifth zone battlefield from 1972 to Southwest Battlefield. Truck of Battalion 4. It was used to serve the spring campaign of 1975 and running flight for Laura 1978. Right, we're going to walk up round the side a minute. Looks like there's a big tour group going on. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? Ah, you're good English. I'm good, Where thank are you. Where are you from? England. You know England? London. Where are you from? England. You know England? How are you? I'm good. You're good. <laughs> My name, name Wayne. Wayne. What's Wayne. Your what your name? My name is Hans. Bao. Bao. What's your name? I am Wayne. from. Where are you from? I'm from, from England. You know England? No. You speak Sorry. English. English. I'm from England. Oh, England. UK. UK. You know UK? My phone number. My phone number. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's good to meet you. What's your name? Wayne. How about you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a good day, okay? Take care. <laughs> see you. Goodbye. See you. 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 Sorry. Bye bye. Ah, my England phone number. Have a good day, okay? Bye bye. See you. See you. See you later. Can you bring it uh, come from? Oh man. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, a little bit emotional, man. <laughs> Shit. Oh, seeing them kids, man. And the guy, the guy told me what <laughs> what I needed to know. I didn't, I didn't video him. He told me all the children here get taught about what happened. They all get taught and they all know about the history of this amazing country, right? Oh man, yeah, that was so good. <laughs> I'm okay now, I'm okay. Bulldoze, a vehicle Regiment 270, which was used in the 5th Zone Battlefields, 1975. loads of kids in it man oh, and they choked me up they choked me up yeah hello how are you yeah cool give me five yeah 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 cool yeah yeah Yes. What's your name? Wayne! <laughs> What's your name? Okay. <laughs> okay. See you again, okay? Have a good day. See you. How are you doing, man? Good? Right, so we, I think we'll walk down this way. Yeah, see you again. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good? <laughs> See you again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, what's your name? My name is Lang. Lang. Oh, nice to meet you, Lang. Okay. You look cool. See you again. Take care, man, okay? Give me five. England. 
Hey, Glenn. Yeah, you look cool. See you. See you. See you. Have a good day. See you. Hey, you on YouTube? Yes. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm gonna walk fast because it will wreck their whole their whole day out. So this is like the um, I think this pond has got a name. I remember it. I came here for a whole afternoon. I'm sure it's called like the peace peace pond or something peaceful right uh, yeah so it is a saturday guys so i've probably picked the worst day oh look at them border vietnam hey how are you Hello. yes nice to meet you 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 hello hello it's amazing man it's amazing hey hello hello have a good day see you see you <laughs> hello <laughs> so i'm not sure if there's a museum up there i don't think there is but there's something major going on today hello you look good <laughs> Everywhere I go, people are saying hello. That's an oldie there, isn't it? It's an oldie. Is that a Vietnam War one? Or 21 MiG belonging to the regiment. 931 Division, the Air Defence, Air Force Service. Used it to shoot down an American F-4 airplane in Bac Thai Province, 1972. Wow. I want to touch it. Man. Let's just have a look in here, at the war here. During a campaign to during a campaign to liberate Da Nang, Comrade Chu Hoi Man and the military region command decided to choose a plan to destroy the district capital, Tien Puoc branch, Puoc Lam base, destroy mobile troops and then attack to liberate Tam. So there is, is the plan. Toyota, Toyota car. The car was seized by the number one regiment, number two division, of the fifth military region, when they were carrying their international mission in Cambodia from 1984 to 1985. It's dense in it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> right, so now we're going to look inside. I remember coming in here. There you go, guys.
Right, so this is like the um, museum side. It's got loads of old artifacts, pictures. I could look at it for hours, I really could. So this, this is my key beach, is it? Six Commando Force. This is well, I remember seeing this. Nineteen seventy nine, nineteen eighty two. I don't think I've went upstairs last time. I was going to leave. Right, we're going to go up. Yeah, I don't want to disturb the kids no more. The teachers have got enough to deal with. And they? They're probably thinking, oh my God, this white guy's just come in and sent them all crazy. I've just settled them down. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Hi. hello. how are you? What's See you name? again. Wayne. Wayne, my name. Hello, hello okay. <laughs> See ya. Vietnamese nation has Precious traditions during a struggle for founding and defending the country. Oh, no, I never came up here last time. I didn't see this. Hello. Yeah. I didn't see this last time. I'm glad she told me about it. Just gonna get a bit of this cool breeze out the window. Jesus, French soldiers' weapons was destroyed and deprived by the military region 5. Look at that, man. Driller used in manufacturing weapons.
know, this, this vlog's going to feel like it was never enough. I want... I mean, if I could, I'd have pictures with every single piece here. I just don't want to regret not doing enough here. If I, if I don't ever return to Da Nang, which I know I will. I know I will be back here. I want enough memories to look back on. This vlog means more to me than any of them. So I've had a great time here at the Zone 5 Military Museum, Vietnam War Museum, guys. It's been great coming back here. It was just how I remembered it in 2019. Um, I got a bit emotional, don't know why. It was the kids, the kids just... Yeah, the kids, man, the kids. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about it. I'm ready to go again, I think. But yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Just seeing the kids and being in Vietnam and in a war museum, seeing them all happy and everything and just knowing what, what their country will always mean. You know, will always mean around the world. What, just the name of their country. And they're so happy, they're so friendly. But this, yeah, this is, just seeing them kids was, I don't know, I, it just hit me, hit me like a 10 ton truck. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out from here guys and get back to the beach area. It's a privilege to be in this country. So it's, uh, it's an honor to be in this museum and to meet all these friendly people. Um, I'm over the moon and this will always stay with me this vlog will be one of my best ever vlogs that I've ever done for me this will be my number one I'm gonna stop waffling and I'm gonna make my way back down to the beach and yeah tonight I'll be heading to the Dragon Bridge and the big market there so we've got them vlogs coming guys I'm gonna shut up hope you're all safe and sound as always and I will see you in the next one so take it easy man take it easy